Hello and welcome to Jetline Marvel. In this video, we'll talk about two new Russian and Chinese aircraft. Let's have a look at their specs and capabilities in comparison to Western aircraft. The Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 series have dominated the single aisle market for the past four decades. However, two more aircraft, the Irkut MC-21 from Russia and the Comac C-919 from China, have entered the competition. Both are nearing the end of the fitness certificate process for commercial use. It has already received approval from each own aviation authority, and it will shortly begin testing for worldwide aviation agency approval. In this video, we compare the Comac C919 and the Irkut MC21 to see how good they are. Let's get this started. The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China is a state-owned aircraft manufacturer situated in Shanghai. In May of 2008, the company was founded. Comac, on the other hand, is aiming for a bigger market with its next design. Its C919 design flew for the first time in May 2017. This aircraft is aimed at the 150 to 200 seat single aisle market. The Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families are now dominating this market. The MC21, a Russian designed airliner, is manufactured by Irkut a part of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. The Yakovlev Design Bureau, which designed the plane, is also a subsidiary of Irkut. On December 25, 2019, it took to the skies for the first time. The first delivery of the MC-21 is scheduled later this year, with Russian flag carrier Aeroflot as the first customer. Irkut a subsidiary of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, manufactures the MC-21, a Russian-designed airliner. Yakovlev Design Bureau, the plane's designer, is also an Irkut subsidiary. The MC-21, which was supposed to be released in 2012, has also been significantly delayed. In terms of technical considerations, each aircraft have unique characteristics. When it comes to seating capacity in two classes, Comac aircraft can accommodate up to 158 passengers, while Irkut aircraft can accommodate up to 163 passengers. C919 has a one-class capacity of 168 passengers, while MC21 has a capacity of 211 passengers. The C919 has a maximum range of 5,555 kilometers, whereas the MC21 has a range of 6,000 kilometers. The C919 is 38.9 meters long, whereas the MC21 is 42.2 meters long. C919 has a 35.8 meter wingspan, while MC-21 has a 35.9-meter wingspan. C-919 stands at approximately 11.95 meters, whereas MC-21 can reach a height of 11.5 meters. The maximum thrust per engine on both aircraft is up to 31,000 pound. The number of orders received by Comac is estimated to be around 1,008 aircraft. These are distributed between 28 customers, obviously the number will grow owing to the huge demand traffic in China, and MC-21 has only received 251 orders, with the majority of aircraft ordered by Aeroflot, which will soon increase in number. Because neither aircraft has yet entered service, determining criteria such as safety, comfort, and other factors is challenging. Other metrics that can be measured include orders, certification, maintenance, and price. iCrute is now working on two variants of the MC-21-200 at the same time. 
The MC-21-200 costs around $72 million, while the MC-21-300 costs around $91 million. The C-919's maximum takeoff weight is 72,500 kg, while the MC-21's is roughly 79,250 kg. C919 has a payload of roughly 20,400 kg, while MC21 has a payload of around 18,900 kg. The C919 has a fuel capacity of 19,560 kg, while the MC21 has a capacity of roughly 20,400 kg. By choice, the C919 will use a foreign engine that is already in use on Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 aircraft. This aircraft is highly praised for its ability to reduce noise levels both inside and outside the cabin. Currently it has a CFM Leap 1C engine installed. When it comes to engine selection, Irkut has a choice. It has one engine. The Aviad Vigatel PD-14, which was developed in Russia. It was designed specifically for the MC-21 aircraft and debuted last year with this engine. Another is the American-built Pratt & Whitney engine, which is also used in A-220 aircraft. Comac is presently building only one model of the aircraft, but if the C-919 is a success, it is likely that more may be developed in the future. The C919 is currently selling for roughly $68.7 million on average, however other sources indicate it is less. This is because the C919 and the MC21 will each cost $72 million, whereas the 737-800 will cost $82 million, and the A320neo will cost $110.8 million. Which aircraft, out of the C919 and MC21, do you think is the most cost-effective for airlines? In the comments area, let us know if you think these two planes will overtake the aviation industry in the future. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe.